Oh, what did I say? 185 because we're up to 183. 184. This presentation will unlock at 185. How's that? Oh, and there it is. Okay, welcome students. Thank you for joining us. Um, we, our goal is to be very brief um, and to offer up just about 10 minutes or so for students to better understand our career day that is happening this coming Tuesday, May 26th. I am recording this. I will send out this recording to all students who were not able to be a part of this assembly. So the first part of the Google form that you see on your computer screen is the actual Google form that will be sent out to all students at the four o'clock hour today. This is the career day student sign up form. Now I will share, and this is pretty important, that if you have um, interested choices, if you have choices that you will see on this Google form when I scroll down, um, each person has a cap in their Zoom session of 40 participants. And once that cap is hit, if you um, decide to fill out this form this weekend, say Saturday at four o'clock or Sunday at 11 a.m., there's a good chance that some of the sessions might be maxed out and you won't have those selections as a choice anymore. So I just wanna offer that up front. Um, and again, that's why this recording is gonna be made available, um, I would say by one o'clock today, so everyone can review and understand how this Google form works before it is sent out at four o'clock today. All right, the basics of, of career day um, reads as following, May 26th, which is this Tuesday. As a reminder, this Monday is Memorial Day. There is no school on Monday. May 26th is absolutely a school day. We are telling the state it's a school day. And for any student that may choose to email me and ask me if this day is optional, the answer to that is it is not optional. This is a school day. However, with that said, as it shares right here, May 26th, this coming Tuesday, will not be a letter rotation day. Teachers will not be assigning work and teachers will not be hosting a Zoom class or Zoom office hours. Teachers and staff will instead be a second adult in the Zoom presentations happening this day. Here are your expectations. All students are expected this day to attend a 915 kickoff Zoom assembly with a keynote speaker a 10 a.m. Zoom presentation of their choice, and a 1 p.m. Zoom presentation of their choice. Um, I will share aloud, it is not anywhere on this Google form, that those presentations are anywhere between 45 minutes, um, I would say a max an hour or so. So your 10 a.m. Zoom presentation with your choice um, will last only to 11 o'clock at the most and then you have from 11 to one where you're not required to be um, anywhere. And then your one o'clock will last till two o'clock. And as I mentioned just a minute ago, there are caps, a maximum number of students who will attend each presentation. Students in order to receive your top two choices, you must choose, be you must choose early before a presentation is closed out. Again, your first opportunity to choose will be four o'clock today. So this is how you complete the form. You share your first name here, your last name here, your email address here. Please do share your Concord email address. That's pretty important. Then you have to indicate that you agree or understand the following. You need to complete this Google sign up form twice, once for the 10 a.m. presentation and once for the 1 p.m. presentation. You also, need to check off that you understand that if you are trying to sign up for someone, I'll give you an example. When I scroll all the way down, you will see um, the, the uh, WBZ reporter, Kate Merrill. If you try to, especially again on Saturday afternoon or even Monday morning, if you try to sign up for Kate Merrill, I have a funny feeling that when you click on Kate Merrill's name, you're gonna go to a page that will not have any times on it. So again, the choice will still be here, Monday morning at 10 a.m., but once you click here and hit next, I have a funny feeling for Kate Merrill and from some others, there will not be a time choice that you can make. 
What that means is if you have no times to choose from, it indicates that the session is full. So you must go back and choose a person that still has times available for them. The last uh, thing that you need to review is you need to scroll all the way down and read all the choices before making your first choice. So you need to go up and down, make sure you understand all your choices before making your first choice. And then when you make that choice, I'm gonna make a choice right now. When you make that choice, then you wanna go all the way down to next. Actually, you know what? It's not gonna allow me to advance because I didn't fill up the top. So let's do this really quickly. Thank you, Google. Here's my personal email address for all 300 students that are on here. Um, okay, so I have chosen, I believe, an engineer. Let me go up and see who I chose again. Yes, Steve Valentine, an engineer. Um, all the fields above are chosen, so I'm hitting next. Nope, I lied. I understand both. Steve Valentine is still chosen, and I'm choosing next. Now, Steve Valentine, his bio is there. Very important information um, that you read. If for some reason you read the bio for the person who's presenting their vocation and you're no longer interested, just hit back on your browser. All right, you're not making the choice for Steve Valentine until you choose the time, which is here. Now, Steve actually happens to be one of our few presenters that only is presenting at one time at 10 a.m. Some other presenters will have two times, 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. And I wanna restate what I said just a couple minutes ago. If you're signing up late and um, we have a full um, Zoom for Steve Valentine's, there will not be any times here, in which case you have to hit back. But it looks like Steve Valentine still has availability in his session, so I'm clicking next, I'm clicking 10 o'clock. Now, what I might wanna do is actually write down on a piece of paper next to my computer that I'm signing up for Steve Valentine at 10 o'clock. I hit next and whoop, it sent me to this page, which is just an error that will fix. Um, it actually should send you to a page that says that your, your choice was made and that you're all set. So uh, that will be corrected before four o'clock today. We are now gonna uh, entertain any and all questions that folks have. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and answer these questions. Andrew says, hi, thank you. Um, an attendee asks if their audio is on. No, they're not. Uh, another attendee asks, how long are the presentations? Presentations are between 30 to 45 minutes. Um, maybe the people are asking whether or not your audio will be on in the session and whether or not you'll be able to see your face in the session. That's a great question. So this is what's called a webinar Zoom, where the only two faces you can see is my face and Ms. Young, who is helping us out during career day. During the session that you will be a part of the vocation and career, um, if you feel comfortable, you will have the option to enable your video. Um, so for the sessions that you will attend, the 10 o'clock and the one o'clock on Monday, um, the person presenting their career will see your face if you feel safe in sharing that. Uh, Aspen doesn't show my grades. How do I, sh how do I see them? <laughs> um, whomever uh, typed that, in, uh, that question, please um, just email me and I can help you out. Uh, Lucas, when is career day? It is this coming Tuesday, the 26th. Where would I be able to find the career day Google form? It will be emailed out to all students at four o'clock today. Uh, where do I find this Google form? It'll be emailed out to you at four o'clock. Um, same question. How many presenters are there to choose from or careers? Ms. Young, we're up to 32, you said? Correct. Awesome. Do the presentations overlap? Great question. So the way the Google form, uh, we're designing the Google form is to make sure that you attend two sessions, a 10 o'clock and a one o'clock. So you need to make sure that you choose um, the 10 and then choose a one. Now there will be approximately 24 people presenting at 10 o'clock, 
but remember you're just choosing one. So the presentations won't overlap for students um, because if there are 31 careers presenting, being presented, you're only gonna be in two of the prese uh, presentations. Um, with that said, a question that I received from a parent earlier today, um, we're gonna do our best to record all the presentations. So if you are interested in more than two, there may be a recording of let's say our architect or um, Kate Merrill. And that's true if you happen to be closed out on something as well. How many choices are there? There are again about 30 choices. Um, will the presentations, will the presenters use slideshows? Um, it's a great question. I don't know the answer to that. Um, if this was a traditional career fair and all of you were in the PBD and Sanborn building, I have a feeling many of them would be using PowerPoints or a Google slide deck. They may, but they also may choose just to talk and present. Do we have two or three Zooms on Tuesdays? So you have two, okay? Both are your presentations. Read for us all the people we can choose from. Um, you can read for yourself at four o'clock today. Um, how many people are allowed in each session? So we've capped each session out at 40. So it's not too overwhelming for the people who are presenting their careers. Will there be a list sent out before the Google form so we are prepared and know which ones uh, we want to attend? Uh, that's a great question. So on Tuesday, I emailed all students and all parents um, a pretty complete list. There may be a few careers that aren't on that list. Um, I believe this morning at 8.30 when I sent this link out, I, I linked that list as well. What if both my Zoom meetings are at the same time? So that's where, again, you wanna make sure you sign up for just one at 10 and one at 11. This is mandatory, correct? Correct. What if you don't find a career that you don't like? Well, that's like a traditional career day um, in any school. Um, let's pretend you were signing up in home base right now. We would just tell you, please sign up for something that you think you might have even the smallest or slightest amount of um, interest in, and then you might um, actually surprise yourself. How long are the Zoom calls? Um, they, the presentations are about, um, again, 30 to 45 minutes, an hour at the, at the longest. Will you get a list of presenters on the Google form? Yes, you will. Do you have any recommendations on how, how the presentations will be formatted and created to the presenters? So I'm meeting with all the presenters today. Um, I will share that the more they can um, interact with all of you, the students, the more that we're finding um, in the world of teaching through Zoom, the more we're finding that students are engaged. So those little practices, those practices of a good uh, presentation in Zoom and how it, how it best um, you know, kind of comes, comes out or comes forward will be made to the uh, presenters. Uh, will you be on Zoom all day? Nope, just once at 10 and once at, I'm sorry, once at 9.15 for about 15 minutes for our keynote speaker, and then once at 10 for your 10 o'clock presentation, and then once at a one o'clock. On the day, will we be getting an email to join our choices or will we get a link some, somewhere else? Okay, so this is a great question. We didn't review this. So after you complete the form, and I'm um, really suggesting you complete the form after four o'clock today, sometime maybe late this afternoon or evening, you will be receiving from um, somebody at Concord Middle School an email that confirms your 10 o'clock, and you will receive a second email that confirms your one o'clock, and in that email will be a Zoom link that will also share the CMS staff member who will be a second adult in this session. If, some, if someone doesn't come to a Zoom call they signed up for, can someone else replace them? Um, yeah, we'll look into that. Is the Google form the first time I will see the choices? So again, that was answered a little earlier. If you go to the email, the same email that you followed this link, I linked a Google document that has almost all the occupations and careers that will be presented. For what we pick, the Zoom link will be sent out. That is correct. Um, after we sign up, will we get a confirmation email? That is correct. 
Do we have to do both 10 a.m. and 1 p.m.? What if I have a time conflict with one of the times? Well, if you have a time conflict, then um, let's pretend this is traditional school and let's say you have a dentist appointment. That's fine, of course. Are you required to, do, to go to both the 10 a.m. and 1 p.m.? Yes, you are. How many students will be on each virtual presentation? All we know is the max. The max will be 40. But if only 14 people sign up for, let's say, the architect um, or the, um, the nurse, then you will only be in that presentation with 14 others. What kinds of careers will there, will there be? Um, again, just follow the link. If 4 p.m. today, the Google form comes out, comma, right? That is correct. Uh, do we have any Zooms with teachers on Mondays? No, you do not. Monday, again, is not a letter rotation day. Um, and again, Tuesday is also not a letter rotation day. So Monday is nothing. Monday is Memorial Day. It's a holiday. Uh, is it okay if you leave if you have no question? That is right. Um, and many of these other questions um, have been answered. So at the time, um, it is now 1217. And we want to thank all students for coming in and learning more about Career Day. Please watch for the Google form that will be sent out around four o'clock today. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. Young.